We're now at um, the Victorian pumping station at Crossness. It's in what we call Abbey Wood area nowadays. So the sewage from the whole of South London um, was discharged down to here. Well, we go back to uh, 1865, that's the year this uh, building was opened. It was uh, a man called Driver who designed a lot of the work, in particular the cast iron work. And that was a time of pride in, uh, in the empire. The British Empire was everything. Uh, the Brits, well, we thought we ruled the world in, in those days. And there was a lot of pride, particularly about the prowess of our engineers and, and designers and project managers. And it's because they could do it. And they had enough money left in the pot to create this uh, beautiful um, environment um, for the workers to work and visitors to see. In 1858, the new Houses of Parliament were opened and when the MPs came to do their work, they found that the smell was so awful that they couldn't work anymore. It was the smell of sewage coming in. It was called the Great Stink. Um, the newspapers latched onto this because the MPs were complaining so much. The sewage arrived, it depended on the tide. If the tide was going out, it went straight out to sea for the benefit of our friends in Belgium and Holland, of course. But if the tide was coming in, there was a problem because if they were to discharge it straight into the river, then the force of the incoming tide would send it back up to London and the MPs didn't want that. So the solution that uh, Bazalgette came up with was to build a great big reservoir and so he lifted the sewage from when it arrived waiting for the tide to turn after about six or seven hours and when the tide was right it's flowing out again it would be discharged from the reservoir by gravity um, into the river. A beam engine is um, it's a steam engine, it's a rudimentary steam engine. It has a, a, at one end some steam cylinders, which we can see, see here, and there's a lot of power in that. So it moves uh, a piston up and down, which operates a beam engine, and that tends to rock. So that power then can then be taken, some is sent to the flywheel, and that's to create a smooth motion in the beam. Because if we just relied on this up and down motion of the steam engine, it would go donk, 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 and it wouldn't be smooth. We needed it to be smooth to operate pumps. So it'll be our 150th anniversary next year in 2015 and we'll be celebrating that. We're hoping that that'll be um, the start of our new exhibition and our conversion into a museum. At the moment we open um, in general five days a year on Sundays. The details of our opening days can be found on our website which is crossness.org.uk